The new Google Drive integration with Downpour is now officially live. That means Downpour can now create folders in Google Drive, upload your art files, and paste the shareable link into a custom PDF of your choice, which gets uploaded nicely and neatly to Etsy. In this video, we're going to cover setup, FAQs, and all the extra details you need to know to get this working without any problems. So let's get into it. We'll start with connecting your Google Drive account with Downpour. So starting on the Downpour home screen, go down to the bottom left and click Settings, then select the New Shop Settings tab at the top. This will always pull up the settings for the shop you currently have selected. Now, notice the new toggle switch. This will enable Google Drive for this shop. So FYI, this is a shop by shop flag. So make sure you turn this on for every shop you'd like to use Google Drive with. Then this new tile will light up saying we're not connected, but then we can click connect account to get started with the integration. The screen probably looks familiar from other apps. It's essentially just a sign in with Google, but with one extra step. So click the account you'd like to use for the shop then continue to sign in. And finally, this is the one extra piece. Make sure you check this top checkbox here, see, edit, create, and delete only specific Google Drive folders used within the app. Side note here, Downpour does not have any access to read, edit, or delete anything currently in your Google Drive. I specifically made it so it creates its own special Downpour Google Drive uploads folder at the root of your Google Drive, and then everything else happens within that folder. So it's 100% self-contained. So checking this gives Downpour access to do all of that self-contained work, giving the app everything it needs and will ever need going forward. Then click continue and now our setup is totally done. Now let's head to bulk upload. Right away, you should see the first time setup window appear. This is a good thing. It means Downpour is connected properly, but it needs to make its special Downpour Google Drive uploads folder at the root of your Google Drive. In fact, let me show you my current drive just one folder and a few files. But after I click set up, you can see I now have a brand new folder. And if we click in, there's a specific folder for my shop. And within there, there are four different folders for each orientation. B for bundles, H for horizontal prints, F for frame TV art, and finally V for vertical prints. These are all empty for now, but this is where all of your custom files will live that your live PDFs on Etsy will point to. So everything is super clean and organized. Now let's check out the files we'll be uploading. I created these handful of folders for some art designs with Tempest. So first thing to do is pull open our mockups and then add them to downpour. We can use the screenshot method of just hitting print screen on the keyboard, screenshotting the mockup file names and pasting them into the camera section for our images in downpour. And while the AI processes that, note that our file name section looks totally normal but I'm going to do something important and turn on Google Drive uploads for this specific template. Now that this is on, a brand new section appeared called Google Drive file names. This is where we will set up all the files we want uploaded to Google Drive specifically. Now, this is a special section because it doesn't just have to be five files like it was when we attached these to Etsy. We can upload one Google Drive file per listing or do 20. We really can do whatever we want here. For this round, I have six upscaled files I created with Tempest. So I'm going to click add file at the top here to add a sixth Google Drive file. Then I'll do the screenshot method here with all six of my files and everything will snap into place. At the top, we can rearrange our mockup tiles if we wish, but then we should save our template in case we want to come back to this later. Now, this next step might be the most important piece, the PDF. This will be the document that our shareable Google Drive links get pasted into over and over and what actually gets uploaded to our Etsy listings. I have an example PDF in my folders that I really like, and you can actually get this PDF template as a free bonus in the AI Art Sellers Collective. If I open it up, you can see it looks pretty standard, but the current hyperlink in the document points to a blank web page called yourlinkhere.com. This is not an error. It's actually the special link that Downpour looks for as the placeholder Whichever link points to https colon slash slash yourlinkhere.com in the template, that will be the link that the shareable link gets added to. So if you are making a custom PDF yourself, just make the link you want to become the shareable link, https colon slash slash yourlinkhere.com or your-link-here.com, either works. It'll find it either way, just make sure you have that placeholder link. For this PDF template, that is all properly set up. So I can just upload it at the top and if Downpour accepts it, it means we're good to go. And I can hit save on my template. Now, if we scroll down, we see something special. 
Our first slot in our listing files for the entire template is reserved for our PDF. This is because the shareable PDF that gets generated will now go into slot one for every listing. But as a side note, you can still attach four other files if you want to here. That's totally fine. Just make sure they don't share the same file names as your Google Drive files. Otherwise, Downpour won't know which one to put them in. And we are good to go. Google Drive is on. So now let's drag and drop just one single listing. And while it's processing, I'm going to kick off the AI auto generate to get my titles and tags written. But before that even happens, my files finished getting processed. And because I have auto upload to Google Drive checked at the top, my six files are actually already being uploaded to Google Drive. You can tell that from the purple loading bar at the top, and we can even click this purple folder icon on this listing to see our special Google Drive folder for this specific listing, V21. You can see the actual shareable folder that our PDF will link to, test Redwood Prints V21, and within seconds, it's already uploaded all six files to this folder. And that means back in Downpour, a new PDF has been generated and placed into the listing file slot number one. If we click to preview it, it looks just like our template PDF, but clicking this link will send us right to the shared folder Downpour just created for that listing, exactly how we want a customer to see it. It's read only for anyone with the link and Downpour will always name the PDF your shop name plus the prefix and index of your listing. So V21 in our case here. And that's about it. Everything Google Drive related is completely done. And now I can click upload draft listings to kick off uploading everything to Etsy as drafts if I wanted to. So although there's a little bit of first time setup that needs to be done, I hope you can see how simple and straightforward it is once you get everything set up. You can drag and drop a hundred folders if you want, and it will process, upload, and post everything without you really doing anything besides setting up the template. I've personally already been using this Google Drive feature for my shop, and it has been a total game changer. It just gets rid of all the frustrating parts of this process and makes it easy. Since honestly, designing the art is where I wanna devote all my creativity and brain power anyway. And additionally, things just level up even more because we're not limited to five files and 20 megabytes max. But at this point, I do wanna cover a few FAQs and special cases. So make sure you stay until the end before you start running with this feature because you definitely might hit one of these special cases as you're uploading. So I'm going to clear out my folders in Downpour and actually re-drag and drop the same folder back into Downpour to upload. Now, remember, we already processed folder V21. So that means we already have a unique folder in our Google Drive for that prefix and index. In our shop folder, then our V vertical prints folder, we can see our folder for V21, okay? And its inner shareable folder is full of our six Google Drive files. So watch what happens when I try to process this duplicate folder into Downpour. Right away, before it even lets you start uploading to Google Drive, you get hit with this warning dialog saying something is wrong. This means Downpour sees you trying to upload a specific prefix plus index combination, V21 in this case, but there are already files sitting inside of there in Google Drive. Now, there are three things you can do in this case. So the first option is to skip all duplicates. In this case, we don't even process the listing in Downpour and it completely skips it from uploading to Google Drive or Etsy as if we never even dragged and dropped it in the first place. So second is append. This means we'll actually add all the new files to the Google Drive folder. We'll show this in action in a second, but maybe if you uploaded two files earlier and you want to add another three right now, this option would work for you. And the third option is the most important one to note, overwrite. This will completely clear the duplicate folder in Google Drive and re-upload all the new files in its place. So really make sure this is what you wanna do before selecting it. And right when you click apply changes at the bottom, it will immediately clear all folders you selected overwrite for at that moment. So again, make sure you really wanna select this. Now it will keep the same Google Drive folder and URL. So old PDFs will still point to that same folder if you overwrite it, it'll just contain the new files you're uploading instead in this current run. If it seems confusing, let me know in the comments or send me a direct message and we can talk through it more. As a final note here, clicking these big buttons just selects the little buttons in bulk for each folder. We just have one here, but you can also select each folder's individual button if you wanna do something unique for each one. But again, nothing actually happens until you hit apply settings here at the bottom. Now let's quickly go through what each one does and see it in action. With skip, it quite literally just removes the entire listing from processing. Simple as that. 
Nothing gets uploaded to Google Drive or Etsy at all because it marked it as a duplicate. Now let's cover append. And side note, you can click this blue folder to check out the exact folder that the duplicate collision is running into in Google Drive. So obviously in this case, this is V21. And note the six files in here currently. If I click append, then upload everything to Google Drive, check out the folder results after I refresh. So as you can see, it simply appended or added the files right into that folder, giving us now 12 files instead of six. And just to make it clear, the same PDF link points to the same Google Drive folder. It now just has 12 files instead of six. And finally, let's cover overwrite. So we obviously still have 12 folders in this shareable folder, but if we do one last run, then once it finds the collision or duplicate, select overwrite, we'll see that this large batch of folders actually gets cleared immediately. If we go into the folder and hit refresh, the files are all cleared instantly, but note that the folder stays intact. So its URL will stay the same. And if we upload to Google Drive now, it's adding our latest six files into this recently cleared Google Drive folder, effectively doing a complete overwrite. And obviously if we click the PDF and visit the shareable link, it points to the same folder, but with the overwritten files. Now that pretty much covers all edge cases with this feature. The one last thing to note is that even when Google Drive is enabled for your shop, you can still toggle it off for a specific template by hitting the green button at the top. Doing this removes the reserved PDF slot in your digital files, and it completely removes the Google Drive files panel altogether. So just in case you want to attach files directly to Etsy, like in the old way, you can do that in just one click of a button. Okay, very last thing to show is that at any point, you can go back into the settings screen, click shop settings, and actually change your entire Google Drive account here in just one second. After the switch, you can see that back in bulk upload, we now have a completely new account that we're connected to. So our Google Drive uploads will now go to a completely different account. So this is really an extremely customizable kind of snap-in system that we can work with however we want. And again, if you do link the same Google Drive account to two different shops in Downpour, Downpour makes a folder for each shop specifically. So everything stays completely separate. Thank you so much for watching this deep dive into the Google Drive integration into Downpour. I tried to make this feature as simple as possible, but while also thinking ahead to any of the possible weird edge cases we could run into, like those collisions. So there's a little bit of extra info to know in that case, but I think it'll save you from issues in the long run since all of that duplicate safe setup exists. Please let me know in the comments or via direct message if you have any questions whatsoever. But before then, check out some of the other Google Drive guides and training because I might cover it in there as well. Otherwise, I'm super excited for you to get your hands on this feature. Let me know how it goes, and I will see you in the next one.